Слава Украине! Слава! 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 Hello comrades and welcome to Men of War Assault Squad 2. Today is another tutorial video on how to uh how to do waypoints as was requested. Turn that down. Actually I think that sounds fine. Anyway, um yeah, so tutorial on uh, waypoints. I'm gonna start with F3 mode. We're going to select our unit. Uh let's see no, it's a single Star Wars. No. Stormtrooper. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna give our unit a tag. So you'll hit U on the keyboard, the screen should pop up. Remember to be in F3 mode, it's important. Click tags, and you can give any kind of tag. Uh, you can put number, or you can give it a name. So uh, we're gonna go with a basic uh, patrol, just because we want to memorize it easily, and find it easily when we do uh, have it. Um, and what you want to do is when you're creating a tag name, uh, don't put a space because if you put a space uh, for some reason it creates a second it divides the name into two different tags so we only want one uh, you'll see uh, it works when it's here uh, but it also show up as the little green letterings there so and okay and uh, other thing is uh, when you copy paste the tag does not carry over so as you'll see there's no green lettering, it doesn't have any tag. So you can either type in the tag again and it'll know which one it is, or you can select both units, tags, click on patrol and you just add that and then it'll pop up there. So we'll do that again. Select them, tags, patrol, add, hit OK. So now that we have our units and their uh, tags, we're gonna give them waypoints. So we're gonna go to the waypoint tab. We're going to uh, enter in a name, so again, it can be anything. Don't put a space. It'll create a second one for whatever reason. Uh, it can be numbers, whatever works best for you. You want to make it an easy, kind of memorizable name. And now we're going to place the waypoints themselves. So we place this one down, and you don't want to uh, you don't want to just keep placing them like this because, as you see, they're not linked. The AI will not follow them. So what we're going to do is make sure this box here, Auto Link, is selected. And so uh, you'll select the waypoint and you'll hit Add. So now, as you'll see, we have a line and it shows where it will go. It's uh, The AI uh, will start at 0 and they'll walk to 1, walk to 2, walk to 3, walk to 4, 5, and then we're going to stop there and you can either have them stop at that point or you can loop it by selecting this one and linking it so now uh, let's make sure that, yep so now they're gonna follow the waypoints in a circle unless you script it to not continue that way I'm just gonna make it look nice uh, and another thing the starting waypoint you wanna make sure your troops are behind it or that the waypoint's in front of them because if you put it like over here or here they're gonna walk in that direction first and then they're gonna walk to whichever one is listed second so just be careful of that if you're uh unless you like want it to do that but uh yeah so just be careful when you do that make sure it's placed in front of it you'll notice these blue circles here this is the radius and i've been told that if you have a larger radius your guys won't walk in a straight line and uh, I get it I don't really know I don't think that's true they seem to walk in a straight line regardless of how large the radius is that's got to be for like more scripting or whatnot uh, that I'm not too well knowledge on so yeah uh, you can do a small radius if you want or a big one it doesn't really matter to my knowledge at least if someone says otherwise or if you know otherwise then yeah so now we have our waypoints down we're gonna go to triggers we're gonna right click we're gonna add now you're gonna do another name uh, again because this is because you might have a long mission list of different triggers for different things uh, you might want to keep it simple or you might want to have them specific naming so 
Again, you can just do numbers if that is easier for you. Whatever works. But don't put spaces. I'm going to keep reiterating that because there will be someone who says, Well, I put the name correctly, but, you know, space. So we're going to add to the commands. We're going to right click. Um, actually, not here. So we're going to right click, add. We're going to go to waypoint. So right now it selects squad. So we're going to select actor. We're going to choose our tag, patrol. And uh, you're going to notice more tags that you create will pop up here. So you need to make sure you can memorize which one goes to which for uh, different triggers. And so the waypoint start is waypoint zero. That is the one we want them to start at. You can put other waypoint numbers, but that means they're going to go to those waypoints and not the one that might be the one that you want. So just be careful on that. Uh, so hit OK. And now we're going to right click again and we're going to do actor. Actually, no, we're going to do actor state. Now, this is a little, this is kind of important depending on what you want to have happen. So if you just want the guys walking in a patrol, then uh, waypoint will be fine. You don't got to do anything more. But if you want to be a little more specific, uh, we'll do the same thing here. We'll go patrol. Uh, so move mode, uh, despite what you may select, so if you have, if you select the soldiers when you place them down and you put them into don't move, if you select free, then they're going to follow this instead of whatever it is you initially selected. Uh, so again, you know, this might be important to you, it might not. It's not important to us, so we won't care. Uh, same with weapon prepare. Currently they have their weapons out. So you'd have that on if you wanted their weapons out, or you could have it off. Uh, and again, we don't really care, we're just going to have them out. AI move is important. If you have it disabled, know this, they're not going to interact with anything, they're not going to really do anything, they're just going to stand there. Uh, I mean, they will walk around, but they're not going to react to enemies, they're not going to shoot or anything, even if they're being shot at. Unless you enable on. So the enable on you can do for both injure and enemy. So if they get injured, uh, that specific one that gets injured will, uh, you know, lay down or kneel and start shooting back. But if you select enemy, then uh, they're going to run to whichever next waypoint they have. And when they get to that waypoint, they're going to stop and they're going to attack the enemy. So that, that'll trigger the AI to act. So if you want them on patrol and you don't want them to randomly stop when someone's close by, when an enemy's close by, then you'll uh, disable the AI unless injury. But again, we won't really need that because, you know, we're not ambushing or anything. But uh, speed. Speed is another thing. So you have slow, normal, fast, walk, bow, assault, spot, and sneak. Uh, so these are just different uh, styles of walking or moving. So. Uh, this is the kind of speed, so or this will be the kind, so it'll be either uh, a fast walk or a slow walk. Fast bow, slow bow. Fast assault, slow assault. S fast spot, slow spot, you get the idea. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll put it on spot, because it, it, I'll show you what that does. Uh, the speed, obviously, here uh, is for car, is for vehicles, planes, and all that. Um, and so here is the uh, moving. So if you turn forward on, then the AI will only move forward. If you turn backward on, or uh, actually no, I think that's that's got to be more specific. Never mind, forget what I just said. It's the no retreat. Here we go. So if you don't want the if you want the AI on move at will, but you don't want them running all the way out to the enemy or all the way away. Uh, you'll put, you know, no advance on, so they'll either stay where they are, or they'll retreat from the enemy. Or, you'll put no retreat, so they'll only advance. So that can be good for whatever situations you want it for. Again, we don't really need that, so we're not gonna do that. So now, we're all set. Oh, another thing. You can add a delay. So, say you want to wait, have your squad like wait five or like 15 seconds, right? Before they start. So, you have to make sure that's at the very top because if you have it in between or anywhere else, they're not going to stop or acknowledge the delay command. So, just remember that if your delay thing is below here, they're not going to acknowledge it. So,. I will now show you, we will now uh, demonstrate the uh, 
the waypoint. So we're waiting five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And then they'll start moving. So they're on spot, so they're walking as the spot animation. But you can have them run or uh, bow and all that as before. So as you'll see, they're just kind of walking. They're patrolling, following the waypoints. And sometimes if the AI is too close together, they'll like bump into each other and they'll run around and they'll run back to different waypoints and then start going. So you want to make sure your AI guys are not standing too close to each other because that can cause issues. And as you'll see, they're just going to follow this patrol point. It's just a simple, basic patrol. I'm going to finish that. load <laughs> now oh gosh oh boy what is this stuttering okay, what the hell's going on that was weird let's give it a skybox here okay I, I don't know if you guys saw that but the screen started stuttering or something so anyway um, let's say that you want your patrol to like stop or do an animation of some sort uh, so like you're walking and you got two of them that are like supposed to walk to each other and salute or just stop so we're gonna select this waypoint we're gonna right click we're gonna add a command and this is the only area where you'll set that you'll go on actor you'll go on actually no We'll go on, uh, yes, no, actor, and wait. And the time for that can be like, you know, five seconds or longer, so... We'll do... We'll do three... We'll do... No, no, no. Five seconds is good. So we want to make sure the selector, you know, can run capture by user, waypoint... I haven't done the others before, so... I'm not too sure on what you could do there. Experiment, I don't know. I also don't know what the drop does. Says order, senseless, all that. Again, you have to do more scripting for that. So you'll notice it turned red. So that means when they get there, they're gonna wait, and then they're gonna move again. And so I'll show you the other one. If you want them to do like an animation, so we'll go call function, animation play, or any e play. I'm gonna select an animation. Let's see, uh direction so control C we're gonna go back to the waypoints we're gonna go here we're gonna right click we're gonna go to actor animation we're gonna go to college we're gonna control V we're gonna waypoint it so you can cycle it if you want you can loop it but that means they're gonna stand there and they're gonna keep doing the animation and they're not gonna follow the waypoints anymore so just make sure that you don't loop it unless you want it to, because they might not continue the patrol. So now that we have that, we'll uh, show you what happens. So you have to, if it doesn't turn red, then it's something wrong. Something You did something wrong. So we'll just show it. So we're waiting a few seconds. Starting to walk. So as you'll see, they'll, they'll all approach the waypoint and they'll wait. You see? So say you had another soldier walking in the opposite direction, they stop, make it look like they're talking or something, and then they continue. As you see, that kind of messes them up a little, but... And they'll do the animation. So if you wanted an officer to walk up and point to a squad, or make it look like they're pointing to a squad, that's what'll happen. Uh, so that's the infantry side of waypoints. Now we're going to move on to vehicles. to load alrighty so vehicles are basically the same principle well not principle yeah principle I guess would it be principle yeah anyway so we got our stormtroopers here and I'm gonna do several vehicles so let's go to Galaxy War Empire. So we're gonna do a. Oh gosh, that's one weird vehicle. ATPT. 
So do the troop transport. And do the unarmed one. Uh, let's see, nope. Heavy will go to... ATST. Now, let's see, recon and speeder bike. Let's have these guys get me ATST. Uh, let's speed things up. Mount them in. Alright, so for the basic waypoint movements, I'll show you for the speeder. We're going to do this. It's a very basic one. So we're going to give it a tag. We'll call it a speeder. And again, uh, just any kind of name will do. We're going to add waypoints. So we're going to click add. If you do default, then it's going to show a bunch of different waypoints and that can get very messy and confusing so you want to make sure it has its own set so speeder and what you're going to make sure auto link is on add one you're going to notice it's not zero it's actually six so the number count keeps going it doesn't change or stop with the uh with with like the different uh with different waypoint sets. So you're gonna wanna memorize it or you're gonna wanna go back and just check when you're doing the startup part. So we're gonna add. So make sure it's selected and then you click add. If you click add and place it down, it's not gonna be linked and you have to do it by hand and that gets annoying. So anyway, make sure you select it, then click add. So we'll just do something basic. I'm gonna link those two. I'm gonna go and uh, uh, don't again. The radius doesn't genuinely matter, at least from what I understand. So we're gonna go speeder. And I'm sorry that I repeat myself a lot. I have a bad habit of doing that. So the waypoint start is gonna be six. I'm gonna go to actor. So tag. So you see, it's gonna start showing all the different tags you have. So we're gonna select speeder. We're gonna hit OK. I'm gonna go actor state, and instead of uh, movement speed for this, because it's not walking, it's obviously it's a vehicle. So we're gonna just make sure its tag is selected. We're gonna do speed. So we'll do 15, and its max speed is something you want to keep focused on, because if you do normal speed, uh, it's going to. Um, if you do like just the normal speed, it it can go faster. If you set a max speed, then it's not going to go faster than whatever max speed you set. So, we'll have it as... No, we'll put it as 25. So it's in kilometers, kph, I don't know. And again, all the different uh, options, disable uh, the AI and all that. So, we're okay. I'm going to hit save. Now, we're going to start. So as you'll see, here you go. Follow the waypoints. Oh gosh. A round of waypoints. And some vehicles, they don't handle the waypoints too well. They'll like stop, or they'll back up, they'll reverse, and they'll get stuck. So just make sure. You have multiple waypoints so they can turn well, or if they're going, or at least make them go a slow enough speed so they don't, uh, so they don't mess up. So you see how it stopped? The speeder bike seems to be doing well though, it doesn't seem to stop itself too much. But a lot of these sharp turns, oh yeah, see? It'll stop, it'll get a little stuck. But yeah, some vehicles will stop, they'll like slowly rotate, and it can be a bit of a mess finish alrighty now if you're wondering probably are why did you place these guys down if it's the same principle well there's some different features you can do so oh gosh 
Uh, freeze a fisher gun. So here we have a troop transport. We're gonna give it a tag. Transport. We're going to add a waypoint for it. Alright, let's see. So 21 now. That's what we're gonna memorize for. Enough. I'm just gonna stop there. So, if you're wondering why I'm doing another one, you can command the. We're gonna set a command for the waypoint, something that's pretty cool that you can do. We're gonna add command. We're going to do actor, and we're gonna do emit. I'm gonna emit at the waypoint 23. Now the crew, if your crew has tags, uh, you can set your uh, crew to have tags and they can, uh, when they get out, they can follow a different set of waypoints if you want to get complex with it. Uh, and I can do a separate video on that if you like. So we're going to do for the emit mode, we can either emit everyone, passengers, or just the crew. So in this case we want to do the uh, passengers. And um, so like say you have a, a BTR, right? And you want it to keep its crew members, but you want to deploy only the troops, you'll select that. But if you want everyone out, like main gun and driver's seat included, you would select all. Or if you wanted to keep the crew, or if you wanted to keep the passengers, but you wanted the gunner's seat and the driver out, then you'd select crew. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see, we've got it on the waypoint. By user, waypoint 23. Make sure that you have that, so I'm going to hit OK. We're going to go to triggers, we're going to go transport again, names, anything, whatever you like. We're going to go to waypoint, 21, I think it was 21, see I already forgot, but we'll go back here. And you see as uh, you can do, you can do show all, and these are all the waypoints, but then we'll select different ones so that way you don't have them overlapping and accidentally selectable by each other, so I was right, 21. We're going to do the same actor. We're going to go down to tags. So as you'll see, we have speeder and we'll have money more. We've got transport there. We'll hit OK. We're going to add actor state. We're going to give it a speed. Just like the speeder, we're going to give it 25. And you can do much faster if you want. You can do much slower. Won't matter. Whatever you like to do. We'll save. Always make sure you continuously save because there can be crashes from just the mission loading or whatever. It can be anything. So we're going to hit start. As you'll see, that's kind of a fast pace, or a decent pace, really, for the uh, transport. We've got its guns there. So this one, I think the vehicles in this mod are uh, a lot smoother with doing transitioning of their turns. So we're going to have them deploy their troops. So like if you want to take this into combat, and your troopers will get out, and uh, they'll fight the enemy obviously, or you'll have a set of waypoints for them to follow, and I can do a much more in-depth tutorial on that if you'd like, as I said, so yeah, there's that one, I'm gonna finish. And it is for the ATST. Actually, that, that one won't matter, because uh, that that really there's nothing special enough for that one to be needed. But uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope the waypoints helped. Uh, if I'm not clear enough, or if there's something you missed, or need better understanding on, leave a comment. Let me know. Um, but yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, let me know what other tutorials you want to see. If you want me to. Uh, get in depth with how to uh, deploy or board, have uh, AI board vehicles, let me know. Um, yeah, have a good morning, good day, good night, wherever you are in the world.